Hello everyone, in this video we want to look at how we can clip widgets in Flutter and therefore I have created here a list view and here I have put inside an image and what we want to do now is to clip different images and to try out the different variants of clipping which we have in Flutter. So the first thing what we can do is to wrap our widget into a clip a rect widget. So let's put here our widget into this clip a rect widget and with this widget we can clip our widget rounded. So what we can supply here is the border radius and I set the border radius for example to all directions and then you can set here a radius inside and if you for example set it to 8 then you see that here everything get rounded and you can basically place every widget which you have here inside so it doesn't need to be an image it can also be some other widget and if you set here this number higher so for example to 16 then this radius gets bigger and we can also put here a much higher number and then you see that here we have this rounded much more. If you don't want to have your widget at all corners rounded, then you have also here another property. So you can basically choose here between horizontal, vertical and only. So for example, if you choose here horizontal and then you say here inside you have two options left and right. And then you, for example, can define here you want to have it on the left side. And now if I hot reload, then you see we have here only this rounded corners on the left side and not anymore on the right side. And if you want to have it only on the right side, then you put here the right inside and then you have it here only on the right side. Then we have also this vertical and here we need to supply top or bottom. So you can, for example, cut it on the top only or you can also cut it on the bottom. So now it changes and now the bottom is rounded and the top not anymore. And you also can choose here only and then you can specify all your directions top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right by your own so you can individually choose how you want to cut here your corners. So I put it here back to all directions and to 16 and we can go further to the next widget. So we can also wrap our image into another widget to get this clipping. So there's this widget called clip oval. And if you put it here inside, then you see we get here another widget and we get here this oval shape. And that's it for this widget. So it's pretty easy. Just wrap your widget around with this clip oval and you get this shape here. And the last thing we have is also if you want to have some more complex clipping, then you can wrap your image into your clip pass widget. So this is a specific widget with which you can define your individual pass how you want to clip this built image. And let's use here this clipper. And now what you have to do is you have to create your own clipper. So for example, you can create this triangle clipper. So it's a new class which we want to create. And yeah, maybe let's create a new file. So I call it here triangle clipper and here inside we create then this class and this class should extend from the custom clipper so this is the class which gives us the possibility to clip our widget and now we have to make all the imports so first of all we import your material library and then you need to override here two methods. So the second one is later for more complex animations or something, but basically you don't need to reclip it. And here inside we create a new pass object and now we can define with this pass object how we want to clip our image. And the first thing what we want to do is to return here our pass because we need to return it here immediately. And now we have here different options on this pass. So basically we have here this option of move to. So we can move to a specific point and then he will start the clipping. So we have to add here an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So for example, I set it here to size width divided by two. And then he will move the clipper to this location here. So he will take the size of our image and divide it by two. And for the Y coordination, he goes here to zero. So he will stay at this location. And now we can draw here two lines. So we draw one line to size width, size height. So this is one line to this location. So we go to the size width. So we go here to this point and then to size height, this point. So therefore he is 
clipping from this location, which we defined here, to this second location, which is going to this point here at the bottom. And after it, we want to go to the zero X. So we go here on this axis and then we go to the size height. So we want to go to this location here. And then we have to call here also this close. And what this is doing, it is just saying, okay, now we have clipped to this location. Now please close the pass. So make sure to also put your clipper here inside and then hot restart your application. And now you see that we have here our triangle and this was created exactly with this triangle clipper, which we have put here inside. And you can basically define any shape with this pass. So you just need to take move to line to, and later you have also like, if you want to do curves, you can also use this bersier, quadric bersier too. So you do some shapes and curves. And this is really powerful if you want to have your individual shape for your widget. So to sum it up everything, so basically the first one is the option if you just want to get something rounded. So for example, you create your own card widget or something. The second option is if you want to have this oval shape. And the third one is if you want to have your individual shape, then you can define it with the clip pass widget. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon. Bye.